to show you guys is how to find coterminal angles. And first thing we need to do is we need to determine what the heck are coterminal angles. And what coterminal angles are are there two angles that share the same initial and terminal side. So first of all, I'm just going to use this little graph here. What exactly is the initial and the terminal side? Here, or usually our side. We're going to this point. Then this would be a. Um, this would be your initial side. And then let's say if I had my other angle was between here and here, then this would be my terminal side. It's a very basic definition. So therefore, if I said, let's say this angle was, I don't know, let's just call it um, 100, uh, 120 degrees, then the terminal or the coterminal angle would be this big angle right here. So therefore, if you say 360, or if you did this so then now this remember is going in the positive direction this way so to go this way would be negative all right so pretty much what we need to say is well what else do we need to get to there um, so 360 sorry um, 120 minus 360 is you're going to go and get what a negative 240. All right, so therefore that means my coterminal angle will be negative 240 going in the direction. Remember, it's negative because we say this is the positive direction, this is our negative direction. So negative 240, they both share the same initial and um, terminal side. So just think if you can't remember initial is always where you start, terminal, terminally ill, terminal where you're going to end. So think of that way. I don't know. Yeah. So, all right. So the best way that I like to go and complete these is there's an algebraic and a graphical way. I'm a very visual person, so I always like to I always have a graph and just be able to start visualizing things on my own. Um, real quick, we know on a graph that here's your uh, 90, 180, 270, 0, and 360. So therefore, if I was going to go negative, three, negative 330 degrees, I got to go this direction first. So I'm actually going to kind of do the opposite, and it's going to go all the way <coughs> to my initial side. But I'm going to go all the way to here to 330 degrees. And therefore, I know if I need to figure out, so my, my coterminal angle is just going to be this angle right here, because it has to share this side and this angle. Well, if I know this is 330, to get to... 360, this angle is just going to be 30 degrees. So I can easily go ahead and determine that just graphically, just visualizing, oh, 330, well, they're having the same side, this same angle. If this angle, this big angle right here is negative 330, this one's just going to be a positive 30 degrees. Our algebraic way is when you have a, when you have a negative 3, a negative uh, angle, to find the coterminal angle, you add um, 360 degrees. And what you end up getting is 30 degrees. All right. Now let's go and look at something when we have radians, which is going to be a little bit more difficult to figure out because we're not used to radians. We're always been used to um, degrees. So now, rather than kind of, I'm going to actually going to keep my degrees up there. But now, what you guys have to go and remember is now, if we're going to be dealing with Radians, we gotta say, all right. Well, how am I gonna know exactly what uh, um, what this is going to be? Where where is radians? Well, we know that if it's 180, that's also the same thing as pi. This is pi over two. This is three pi over two, and this is two pi. So roughly, if I say here, if I was gonna say this would roughly be three over three pi. This would be, um, over here would be 
6 pi over 3, because that's the same thing as 2 pi. And if we're looking at roughly, um, if we double that again, you'd be looking at 12 pi. So graphically, um, I might have a little bit more difficulty going with this, so I'm not going to try to go ahead and graph this, even though I can, but for this video and, and sake purposes, I'm going to go ahead and um, just look at the graphical to solve this one off really quick. When it was negative, we added 360. Now, since it's positive, we're going to do the exact opposite, which is going to be subtract 360. So for this problem, if I have 11 pi divided by 3 minus 360, well, how the heck are you going to do 11 pi divided by 3 minus 360? You can't. What we need to do, unless you change your degrees to radians, we need to make sure we're subtracting our, ra our radians minus our radians. Notice that 360 degrees is the same thing as 2 pi. Going all the way around is the same thing as 2 pi. So now I simply just go and subtract this. I make this over 1. And now it's just simply subtracting your fractions. Get the same denominator. Multiply by 3 over 3. So I get 11 pi, 3 minus 6 over pi. Ends up 5 pi over 3. And you end up getting 5 pi over 3. So um, if I was going to go and look at this, because I'm saying that's 3 over 3, because um, roughly, guys, you're going to have 2 thirds. Roughly, you know, the reason why this is kind of difficult to graph, because we're not going to have it in quadrants, it's actually going to be in thirds. So you'd have, this would be um, 2 thirds pi, and this would be 1 third pi. And I'll show you guys on a different video how to go and graph this, but I don't want to keep on confusing by transferring the quarters to thirds um, with this. So if you guys can just remember, whenever you have a negative angle, you add 360 degrees or add 2 pi, depending if it's a radian or degrees. And if you have a positive angle, to find the coterminal angle, you subtract 2 pi or subtract 360, depending if it's in degrees or radians. Okay? So that's how you find the coterminal angles um, of giving an angle in a degree and an angle in a radian.